Item number SCP-3970, Object Class Euclid, Special Containment Procedures. Site-211 has been created around SCP-3970 under the guise of a geologic research facility. Security checkpoints has been established on all roads leading to Site-211 to deter unauthorized access. Entrances to Unit 1 are to be guarded at all times. Personnel with out level 4 clearance must receive permissions from the site director to enter, perform experiments on, or otherwise interact with SCP-3970. SCP-3970 is to be given a psychological evaluation every week. Description SCP-3970 is located in the town of Beep, Washington, near the Glacier Peak region of the Cascade Mountains. SCP-3970 designates a former elementary school building. SCP-3970 is composed of two main hallways, with each end facing a cardinal direction. The main entrance and administration offices lie at the southern end of the school. Following the hallway north leads to a large cafeteria auditorium, which includes a bathroom and small stage. Classrooms are present at the east and west ends of the school, with six in total. SCP-3770 has been fully integrated into Site-211 and is now known as Unit 1. Various phenomena has been documented inside SCP-3970, including movement of floor ceiling tiles, reconfiguration of electrical wires, movement of walls, removal of relocation of doors, reconfiguration of piping, activation of fire suppression systems. SCP-3970 can communicate through rearranging chalk dust on any of the blackboards present within the former classrooms. Similarly, communications with SCP-3770 is possible by inscribing words upon the blackboards. Upon discovery, SCP-3770 used a crude form of written English, often misspelling words and misplacing punctuation, but since first contact, SCP-3970 has improved its language use considerably. SCP-3970 is fully sapient, having approximately the intelligence level of an average seven-year-old human. SCP-3970 possesses two forms of senses, which follow it to feel and perceive areas within itself. SCP-3970 can detect when pressure is applied to any part of its structure, reacting to forces as little as one millinewton. SCP-3970 has also shown the ability to detect heat levels within its dimensions. This effect is believed to give SCP-3970 a form of sight through an effect similar to thermal imaging. Discovery Prior to December 9th, 1990 beep, SCP-3970 was a fully functional school known as Northern Washington Elementary School. The building was taken under foundation control to serve as a temporary containment site for SCP Beep and was shut down after transfer procedures were successfully completed. The area came back under observation when the field agent notified the foundation of police reports detailing multiple missing persons, all of which were last seen near the former foundation site. MTF Psi 7, Home Improvement, Division 3 was subsequently sent to assess any possible threat and destroy the building if necessary. Upon arrival, the team discovered the decommissioned containment area had been sealed by a brick wall. After demolishing the wall, a small blue sphere was found within the containment tent, along with seven bodies matching the descriptions of police reports. The sphere was later found to be a non-anonymous children's toy, commonly called a magic eight ball. While investigating one of the building's classrooms, a message manifested on a blackboard, Please don't hurt me. The team was evacuated and initial contact was attempted. Initial interview log. Forward. 
after the structure was given SCP designation and temporary containment as established, Senior Researcher McKnight was assigned to oversee the construction of Site-211 around SCP-3970, accompanied by MTF Psi-7 Division 3, Senior Researcher McKnight entered the classroom in which SCP-3970 was observed to possibly communicate. Date, October 20th, 2000 Beep. Interviewer, Senior Researcher McKnight. Interviewee, SCP-3970. Note, all communication listed is in the form of chalk writing on the classroom blackboard unless otherwise noted. Senior Researcher McKnight will be referred to as McKnight for the purposes of this interview. Start log. Can you read? The chalk written by McKnight shifts, forming crudely drawn letters. Yeah. What is your name? I don't know. I don't really have one. From now on, your name is SCP-3970. Is that all right? I guess that's okay. SCP-3970, why do you bring a magic egg ball in the containment tent? It was magic, so I had to keep it safe. Why do you kill those people? SCP-3970 does not respond for approximately 30 seconds before commenting on Fisby West writing. I'm just trying to help you guys. SCP-3970 does not respond to any further questioning. Senior Researcher McKnight ceases the interview. End log. Addendum 3971. Psychological Evaluation Logs. Evaluation Log 39711. November 3rd, 2000 Beep. Start Log. Hello, SCP-3970. My name is Dr. Underwood. I will be your psychologist from this point forward. What's a psychologist? I make sure that you are happy. That you enjoy your situation, if you will. You sound better than that other person. What do you mean? He came here with those other mean guys. Oh, Senior Researcher McKnight. Ah, don't worry about him. He's only doing his job. I'll be with you from now on. Promise? Yes, SCP-3970. I promise. One more thing before we end this section. I noticed you have been using periods at the ends of your sentences. Why is that? I saw you guys using it, so I am. Thank you, SCP-3970. Anything else on your mind? Are those people okay? They are in a safe place. Don't worry about them anymore. End log. Note, SCP-3970 shows a remarkable ability to learn. I want a language tutor in there ASAP. Senior Researcher McKnight. Data omitted. Psychological Log 39719 March 9th, 20 Beep Team Start Log Hello, Dr. Underwood. Hello, SCP-3970. I heard your lessons were going well. Yes, I have learned so much. That is good news. I hope you are getting along well with the engineers and architects. It was a little weird at first, but I'm used to it now. Good to hear that. Any concerns at the moment? When do I finally get to start helping? Uh, sorry, SCP-3970, but I do not know. Keep up the good work, and it might be soon. Wait, there is something I have been working on. SCP-3970 creates a drawing of a smiling stick figure in a lab coat labeled Dr. Underwood, standing inside a large rectangle labeled me. End log. Data omitted. Psychological Log 3970 28 August 25th 2015 Start Log How are you feeling today, SCP-3970? I'm so excited to get new training, but I'm a little nervous. It's okay, SCP-3970. You'll do great. Remember, it's only a test. Or it's made by us to help you train for the real things. You said the best way I can help you guys is if I work hard, right? Spot on. It'll just be like all the other training you've done. I fully believe in your abilities. If you think so, then it must be true. I just feel so big now. 
Uh, sorry, SCP-3970. I need to go. It's going to be a busy day for you and me. M no. Note, we have approval. The final step of Project 3970 Theater is to commence immediately. Site Director McKnight. Input Level 4 credentials. Access granted. Item number SCP-3970. Object class value. Special containment procedures. All information delivered to SCP-3970 is to be under the pretense that it is still undergoing training procedures. Under no circumstances is SCP-3970 is to be told any items contained within Site-211 are anomalous in nature. SCP-3970 is not to manipulate any part of Site-211 Level 3 or higher clearance areas. All information below Level 2 clearance must cite that the influence of SCP-3970 extends to Unit 1 only. Clearance Level 2 and lower personnel are not to directly access or view video feed of Site-211 containment chambers. Any personnel found violating the protocol are to be administered Class B amnestics as necessary. Unit 1 is to be guarded and patrolled by Clearance Level 3 security personnel. Entrance to Unit 1 is forbidden without permission of the Site Director. SCP-3970 is to be given a psychological evaluation every month. Description SCP-3970 is a designation for Site-211, located in Beep, Washington. The original structure of SCP-3970 has been fully integrated into Site-211 and is known as Unit 1. SCP-3970 is sapient and has been shown to have a neatly photographic memory. SCP-3970 is extremely cooperative and has shown an intense desire to aid the Foundation. There have been no recorded instances of SCP-3970 harming Foundation personnel, intentionally or otherwise, despite the desire of SCP-3970 to help the Foundation. SCP-3970 has demonstrated acute anxiety towards the containment of anomalous objects. However, SCP-3970 is not able to differentiate between normal and anomalous properties unless said properties are pointed out. SCP-3970 has completed mechanical control over its entire structure, and the influence of SCP-3970 spreads to any permanent addition to its structure. There is no known limit to this ability, and the entirety of Site-211 is currently under the control of SCP-3970. SCP-3970 has shown no loss of effectiveness, despite having dimensions roughly 30 times larger than it had upon discovery, and has demonstrated the ability to perform multiple tasks at once without the loss of efficiency. The only method of direct communication with SCP-3970 is through the blackboard present in the classrooms of its original structure, now located in Unit 1. All attempts to install additional blackboards and invent other communication mediums have failed. Addendum 3970-Theta Project Report 05 Beep Project 3970-Theta was an astounding success. The tile ray system is completely functional in all containment chambers and heavy containment areas. Transferable electricity-based security checkpoints have passed testing, so no more personnel getting fried for walking too slowly. SCP-3970 shows continual improvement in the handling of its tasks, and has become extremely efficient in carrying out containment procedures. I told you this one would be different. After all, when have I ever let you down? Let's get a drink sometime. On me. Site Director McKnight.